Hi, my name is Alex Hale, and I just wanted to welcome you to Marist Open House 2013. I remember sitting in the same seats you're sitting in and thinking to myself just how big the school was and how confusing it was. And I hate to say it, but it's only getting bigger. I mean, how couldn't you notice the construction? So to help make getting around a little bit easier and to help you get the most out of your visit, we've put together a sort of road map in this video. Without further ado, I give you Centennial Center, the gymnasium you're standing in. Now, if you're looking around and you're thinking to yourself, this doesn't really look like a gymnasium. You should probably ask somebody where you are. The monstrosity you see behind me will be a fully functioning multi-use facility by the end of this year, complete with 16 classrooms, a lecture hall, and a full gymnasium. Wow, three gymnasiums and we've only just begun. In Laird, you'll find information on all of our extracurricular athletic teams. We have our teams at Marist for all students all the way from 7th grade to 12th grade, with many no-cut teams. Stop here to learn more about our athletic program. You might be wondering who's responsible for this video. That will be Marist Broadcasting, located just a short distance away in the modular building. Here students meet each week to film, edit, write, and create a broadcast segment that's broadcasted to the entire school every Friday morning. Stop here to learn more. Located just a short distance away is our main classroom, the Chanel building. You'll know it because it's the one on stilts. When you go up the stairs closest to Centennial, you'll come into the math hallway first. Here all of our math classes are held, all the way from 7th grade to 12th grade. We offer advanced placement classes as well for those that are especially interested in math. In addition to hosting our math classes, this hallway is also the hub for foundations, our school within the school, where 7th and 8th graders can be a little more comfortable and separate from the high school. When I came in seventh grade, one of my biggest concerns was that I was going to be thrown in with a full high school. I was going to have seniors and juniors in my classes, and that thought scared me. But thanks to the Foundations program, my worries were put aside. Stop here to learn about both Foundations and Math. Just above the Math and Foundations hallway is the Social Studies hallway. Social Studies courses are taught for all students all the way through their time at Marist. And for those with a special interest in history or social sciences, we offer a full array of electives and advanced placement courses for them to take. Stop here to learn more. Marist offers four languages, German, Spanish, Latin, and French. And generally students take at least three years of one of those. Additionally, we offer a Chinese elective that you can also take on top of your languages. Stop here to learn more about those. Theology and religious studies are two important aspects of Marist, two things that make us just a little bit different from other schools. In addition to required religion classes, we also have campus ministry, where you can sign up for mission trips, community service, and other exciting opportunities. Stop here to learn more. At Marist, we have eight science labs on two floors, this one and the one above me. Throughout every Marist student's school career, they have the option to take interest field electives as well as advanced placement courses. Stop here to see a demo and to learn more. They go by many names. The Lenovo, the LCT, the device. But well, whatever you call it, the laptops at Marist are a brand new addition and we're really glad to have them. They work really well too until you forget how to access your email or drop it out of a second story window. In cases like that, it's important that we have the tech center which is behind me. Here you can have it repaired or even learn how to better use your laptop. Teachers can use it too to help grow their lesson plans to better incorporate the new educational technology. Stop by here to learn more about it. Even with all of our technological advances like the laptop, it's easy to forget about the books that we have in the main library. You know, the kind of paper that our grandparents read. Well, they're down here and you can come see all of them as well as our librarians and learn about the exciting programs we offer here, as well as our scholastic teams. Now, you might be thinking that with all the new laptops, having three computer labs it seems a little bit overkill. We did too, so we converted the spaces and other uses, such as our language lab, and perhaps most exciting of all is our robotics studio. We have electives in robotics, app design, electronics, and even animation. So you can see that art is becoming part of technology as well. In fact, it's all part of our STEAM initiative. That's S for science, T for technology, E for engineering, A for art, and M for math. Stop here to learn more about all of our technology programs.
just across the main circle from the library, you'll find Woodruff Auditorium, home to many of our theatrical productions and assemblies. Stop by today to see a show of our recent production, A Christmas Carol. Adjacent to Woodruff is the Gun Building, home to our many fine arts classrooms and programs. Here you'll find information on visual arts as well as bands, chorus, and drama. Be sure to stop here to learn more. As I previously mentioned, religion plays a key role in mirrors and it's one of the aspects that makes us truly unique. This is no more evident than our newly renovated chapel where Mass is held every day to students if they'd like to come. Stop here to learn more. Well that concludes our quick tour of Mayor's School. I know it seems like a pretty big place, but I hope we've made it a little bit smaller to help you get the most out of your visit today. Today when you leave, you might go left, you might go right, you might even go straight, but whichever way you go, go the Marist way. Thanks again. Thank you.